Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining me uh, for this video today. It is the end of October, the beginning of November, and so I decided to do a shop my stash to fill my makeup bag um, for the month of November. It's already filled with a few things that I am going to be using. <coughs> Um, but then we're going to add some more things to it. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to show you my makeup bag because it's very, um, very lovely. I love these bags. These are from Allie Glines. And she has all kinds of sizes and um, like a set, a, a couple of different sets. And she just recently came up with um, a makeup brush bag. I don't have them like tucked in, but um, this makeup brush bag is also very, very lovely. Um, and it's pretty cool in that it has two, um, I just washed my brushes so they're not actually in there the right way. It has two straps. So there's a strap here and a strap here in the back and two sides. So this is a really neat um, brush bag for traveling. Um, and I have used it for traveling purposes um, about a month ago. Um, and today is Saturday, uh, October 29th. And she just released a new color in these bags. And um, she started out with the original, which was gray. The second um, color that they released is this blush pink color and that's the set that I have and then they just released a lilac color so what I'll do is link um, her um, video introducing and debuting these new bags and I will um, also link her website so if you are in the market for some new makeup bags you can go check them out because they can be used for so many different things and not just makeup so <coughs> I'm hoping that maybe you'll check those out. Um, so we're going to fill my cute little makeup bag with things that I'm going to use for the month of November. I'm going to turn you around so that you can kind of see um, my makeup collection. I'm going to move some things around so that we can go shopping together. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get for right now. I am opening up my makeup bag so I can get it ready to go. And I have um, some things already in here um, that I'm not going to take the time to like put put back um, with you. Um, just because I really want to focus on the things that I am going to be using. I am going to continue to try to finish this um, Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I would say that it's down to like right here so I really want to keep working on that and finishing that. The foundation that I'm going to be using for the month of November is this that I got from KVD and it's the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm and I use the shade Light 12. I am loving this so much. Um, I got this as Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and a sit, um, sale, so I got it on sale, and it was just, it's very, very nice. I'm really, really liking it a lot. Um, and I'm going to quickly put back my Purito BB Cream. I'm trying to use that up before the end of the year, and it may, no, it's not going to fit. So, we'll figure that out later. I'll just put it back on top because it is almost finished and so I do want to probably use this Purito on the weekends so that I can have a better shot of using it up once December comes. I would say it's about down to like right here. So I'm really hoping to be able to use that up. The concealer that I'm going to be using for this month is this MAC um, Light Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I bought this at an airport, and so I always have really fun memories of the trip that I took whenever I use this. I'm going to be working on this row of products. I've already hit pan on this, and this is actually a little too dark for me right now, so I think I'm really going to focus on maybe even these two. I'm going to play around with that, but as you can see, I've hit pan on this 
and it works better for me in the summertime. But I'm going to kind of continue to play around with that and see which colors work best for me. So for bronzer, I am going to continue to work on my NARS um, Laguna bronzing cream. This is in my back to school project pan and I wanted to use this for two months. I used it in the month of October and so now I need to use it in the month of November. It is um, very nice and creamy. It's very light though, um, so I'm, I'm not like super crazy about it, um, but it, it works nicely, I guess. Um, it looks darker on the screen than it does in real life, so that's encouraging. Um, okay, so that will be my bronzer, but I am going to choose this little sample of the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in golden light. This is like a mini of this. And so I usually, what I've been doing with this is setting it with a powder. So I will use this one as my powder. And I'll just kind of, some days I'll use just this, some days I'll use this and this together. So it kind of just all depends. <coughs> okay, sorry. For blush, I am going to pull in this Persona Blush Multi Stick in the shade Jam. This is a new color that they just released and it's so, so, so pretty. I am loving it so far. I've used it a few times and I did put it on my lips. Um, it is a very berry color. This is going to be a great time of year to have berry cheeks and berry lips. I didn't really particularly like how it was on my lips towards um you know after an hour or so it really kind of started to fade off oddly but it looks really good it's super super pretty um for eyeshadow palettes i am going to continue to work on my pan that palette which is soft glam and i won't open it up for sake of spoiling what she looks like and i will be recording a video telling you all about what she looks like right now um, and to accompany that for the month of November of course it is going to be turkey month we're deep in the thick of fall so I'm going to use my other ABH modern renaissance palette and so what I do typically with soft glam is I'll pick a shade that I want to be my focus shade for that month and I will use it in almost every look that I do. And then I also use another palette to give me some variety and not to be, not to, you know, make me bored of using just soft glam. So I plan on using this a whole lot. And the good thing about it is that they have some similar shades and some exact shades like burnt orange. They both had tempura also and they both have Cypress Umber, but the rest of the shades are really different, and so it's really gonna help to um, make, give some variety to what I am um, doing with my eye looks. So I'm also going to um, pull in a highlighter. I did forget that, and I think I'm gonna go, just go back with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter um, this is Be My Highlight in the shade 10. So I'm just going to have that as my highlighter for the month of October. With my Persona order when I got this um, multi-stick, I also got a eye pencil. This is the 24-hour waterproof eye pencil, and I got the shade brown. I really kind of wanted to do a brown color instead of black. One thing, I just opened this up yesterday and I'm already noticing that right there, the writing is already coming off, but I'm liking how it's performing so far, so I guess really ultimately it's not that big of a deal. Um, I always, always have my Milani eyeshadow primer, so she always stays in my bag. And for my brows, I'm continuing to use the Patrick Ta eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And my setting, like brow setter, is this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is clear. So 
I'm working on using that. It's an odd brush, but I do actually like the product inside. Um, for powder and like setting powder, I'm going back and forth between this many of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm trying to finish this. I don't know that I will, but I might. Um, before the end, before the middle of December, this is in my back to school project pan. Also, I'm more than halfway done with it. And then I'm also just every once in a while trying to use up this number seven lift and illuminate powder too. And I've repressed it <coughs> because I had hit pan on it. And the last thing that I'm going to put in my makeup bag for the month of November is this Tartlet Tubing Mascara. At first I really wasn't quite sure what to think of this and I had a hard time getting it off of my eyes, but man, I am loving it now. It really holds the curl in my lashes no flaking and now I can get it off pretty easily so there was just a little bit of a learning curve I am loving this and I have already spied it in a set from Tarte they have their three mascaras in a set and I've already spied it in there so I'm probably gonna buy that set so I can have another one of those and two other ones to try lips I just kind of change from day to day so I am not really doing anything with lips um, I will be trying to use this Becca First Light Priming Filter off and on and the sunscreens that I kind of alternate um, through. I will be finished with this Bliss Block Star very soon. I've been using this Milani SPF BFF and sometimes I sprinkle in the Sun Bum Glow 30 depending on if I want to be very glowy. But Lately, I've not been wanting to be that glowy. So let's turn you back around and we'll finalize everything. Okay, so here is my bag and all of her glory, nice and full. And as you can see with these Allie Glines bags, you can fit so much stuff in there. Um, and I'm really, really excited about um, using some of these things. And really, honestly, I have already been using a lot of them. It's just kind of a, um, continued thing but I always like changing out my eyeshadows just to kind of create some variety within my day and from getting ready I hope that you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up so that you can um, see more of my content subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can get my project panning content sometimes I post skincare content and all things makeup and beauty. And as the holidays are rolling in and shopping season is rolling in, I would love to be able to share some ideas that I have with you on all of those things. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.